Hi, Caleb with Brownos here, and I'm joined with Tyler from Midwest Industries. Tyler, thanks for coming out. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So if you've been following us in the past, uh, you'll remember Tyler. We, we did some videos a while back. And today we're talking about something that's maybe a little bit different for some of y'all. I know in the past, um, you hear Midwest Industries, you think AR-15. It's not that way anymore. It's No. Um, so a few years ago, we came out with our Marlin accessories for the Marlin lever action guns. Um, those have done really good. They've gotten some controversy, obviously, with the tactical lever gun. <laughs> sure. Um, we, we consider it modernizing a lever gun just because it allows guys to really put a lot of accessories on these firearms. Um, and here's kind of a, a new version that we're coming out with. So this is for a Rossi 92. We've done them for Marlins as well as Henry's in the past. Um, and now this is going to be coming out for the, the guys that have these Rossi 92s as well as Winchester 94s out there. Um, so another... Another platform that people are going to be able to kind of modernize and throw some accessories on, and we're kind of excessed, you know, excited to finally get these on the market. Yeah, so let's kind of just talk about what we got going on here. Uh, we'll just, from, from tip to butt, let's do it. Sure. So this is just a standard Rossi 92 that, um, you know, are imported into the U.S. and that are a little bit more of, of affordable um, lever action on the market, um, but people are able to get their hands on them, which is great. Um, with that, though, people are still not really able to accessorize them or throw lights on them, lasers, whatever they really want to throw on them. Um, as you can see here with this this Henry that's sitting over here. Right. So what we've done is we've taken basically the M-Lock interface and we've made a handguard for it. Um, so we've done it in the past, like I mentioned, but this is for the new Rossi, or the Rossi 92s as well as Winchester 94s. We've never supported that platform, um, either of them. So now we kind of have a solution where people are able to mount some accessories to them. Yeah, and um, there's some cool stuff coming in the future still as well, isn't there? Yeah, there's some uh, new rifles that are going to be coming out as well as some more accessories that kind of go all the way down the rifle that we got coming out later this year, um, early next year. So uh, definitely uh, keep your eye out on us. It should be pretty exciting. Yeah, and I know we have like a basic Henry here, but you can even take this Henry and trick it out with, with Midwest stuff. Absolutely. So you can throw something like this where it's just the standard handguard on it, or you can throw, um, we have ghost ring rail sights um, as well that you're able to basically change out your sights, throw that top rail across your firearm on that Henry, okay. um, and yeah. have that um, rail system go all the way down the top. So it kind of gives you some options if you want to take it all the way to that next level, or if you just want to throw a handguard on just to mount a you know, bare minimum. Yeah, so I, I kind of want to just take one of the like super shiny engraved Henry's mm -hmm. and just throw a bunch of stuff on there. Throw just it all to, on there. Just to break the internet. Um, yeah, I mean, you could <laughs> if you wanted to, absolutely. Which kind of leads us to a, another talking point here. And, you know, some people watching this are going to be asking the question, why the heck would anyone do that to a lever gun? Yeah, and that's fair. I mean, um, people say the same thing with, with you know, AK-47s or yep. even the AR-15 phase. You know, people say just leave it the way it is and shoot it because it's light and it's mobile and whatever else, and it works. And you can. You can keep your gun just like this and shoot it, or, you know, it gives you a lot of more usability to add stuff to it. For, you know, a lot of people do hog hunting, deer yeah. hunting, whatnot, and they'd like to be able to mount a, a light up front or just have something that looks a little different, and this gives them the option. Yeah, and I know like a lot of people that do hunt hogs with lever guns, whenever they do it at night, they, they don't use lever guns because they, it, it doesn't work well with the MBGs. There's no mm -hmm. way to, to mount all the accessories on it for that. But now there is. So now you can you can do some lever gun hunting with MBGs if that's your thing, if you're one of those guys. Uh, you can you can go to the extreme, and that, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and we actually got this inspiration years ago. Um, I mean, we've seen guns like this where people didn't really care to keep them so pretty, yeah. um, and they just you know duct tape a light to the front or whatever they needed, but it worked. Right. So um, it kind of lets them take it to the next level without having to go that extreme. Awesome. Well, Tyler, appreciate the update. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate you coming out. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Anytime. So if you have any questions or comments. Uh, you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to post them down below. If you're watching this on the website, feel free to just give us a call on the tech line. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.